Help! I've been kidnapped! Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Did that really happen, or are you simply being overdramatic? Of course it happened! I heard it straight from the horse's mouth! Oh, she is a rather horse-faced girl, that's a story of cricket. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard her plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Half of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So, back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. And what do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Oh, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. 
If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered prat would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Stop right there! Bombarda! I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. When supplies run low, though, always makes me nervous when our stops are. No one. Rebellion. That portrait. <laughs> it's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Van Rock. I know what you No more happy days for you. Rebellion. Well, it's about time. It's a wonder there's anything left of me. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those perfumes outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I over here, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. 
Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Draft in here going straight up my pantaloons. Vivelio. the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks. No, it's not. It's the hogshead. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place. It's absolutely vile in here. It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. Oi! I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. Is this really the place for that? You'll never believe who tried to recruit me the other day. The Ashwinders. Victor Rupert himself wouldn't dare challenge me. Romley Gaunt was the sort who'd flay her own mother. Well, it's not one thing, it's the other. You can stop a thief in their tracks with stupefy. Or just run, of course. I met a girl once. Looked like an inferior. Pretty, though. Didn't eat much. 